Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up our free header and footer for Divi's beauty product layout pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's download our free header and footer for Divi's beauty product layout pack. So what you need to do is to head over to this post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Next, we need to download it. So we're gonna come over here and click on get it free today, add your email address, and then click on download. Next, you're going to see this button here, click on download the files, and now the files are going to be downloaded onto our computer. Right, so the next thing you need to do is to find this zipped file, double click it to unzip it because we need to use the unzipped version of this file. All right, so next I'm gonna come over here now to my site, scroll all the way down to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. Next, it's time now to install that file that we unzipped. So we're gonna click here on Portability, click Import, and now I'm going to find that file that I unzipped, which is right here. I'm going to drag it into place, click on import DV theme builder templates. Excellent. So now my header and footer has been added onto my site. So let's just take a quick look and see what the site looks like right now before we save. So at the moment, we just have this default um, header. And if we scroll all the way down, we also have this default footer. So just by installing this header and footer template, you are going to notice a massive change when we take a look at our site now that we've saved it. So I'm going to come over here and refresh. And now you can see here we have a totally different header. We have a button here. Our logo is in the middle. We also have a sign in button and we also have a message here for our unlimited time deal. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see here we have this beautiful footer and it also have these two for one deals shop, a discount, and so on. And we also have a massive call to action here for our visitors to call us. All right, so now let me show you how to customize this and make it really, really look nice for your own website. All right, so I'm going to come over here and we are going to start off with the header. So I'm going to click here. Now, let's say you want to change the colors on your header to match your website. You can do this by just going to each and every one of these modules and make your changes. So let's start off with this part right here. So let's say you wanna make changes to this button. I can just click here on this gear icon and now I'm in my button settings. So now I can go into design, click on button. And here is where we can change the color. We can also change the size of the button here. And uh, if we scroll further down, we can also change our icons. So as you can see, everything is right here. We can change everything that we need. So over here on the logo, if I click on this gear icon, I can change this logo into a totally different logo. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click here on, so I'm gonna click here to delete this, click on this plus button. And let's say I choose a different logo, upload an image. And just by doing that, I've gone in and added my own logo. And if you wanted to resize it, you can just come over here to design and then you can click on sizing and you can play around now with the width and this will adjust the size of your logo. All right, so I'm going to close out of here. Let's move on to the next part. And again, this is a button. So the one thing that I forgot to mention is with the button here, you can also go in and um, change this text so it says sign in, I can just say contact like that. And this text has just changed in real time. I can also add my link by coming over here. So make sure you add links to all these buttons, including this one here that I have here on the top. Okay, so that's all we can do on our button. We can also go to our design here, click on button and we can change the size. We can also change the background color to whatever color we want. So you can see here, I've just changed that to yellow, but of course we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna close out of here. Now let's head over here to the top. So over here, we can go to our section settings, click on background. And as you can see here, we have all these options that we can play around with to customize our sections. 
Okay, now let's go on to this message. So here we also have another call to action. And again, it says get this deal. You can go in and change the text and make sure you add your link over here as well. So I'm going to add my blank link just like that. Save. And uh, we also have this call to action text. So here where it says get two for one, we can always go here and uh, change you know, the text. So let's say I add the words today here. You can see there that th in real time, I have just added my text. Now, let's say you want to um, customize the text further. You can just come over here, click on this brush tool. And now I can see this is heading two. I can play around with the colors by coming over here. So, as you can see here, when I drag this around, my color is changing. Okay, so that's how you change your color. And if you wanted to change the size, you can always choose the size by dragging this down like that. Okay, so let's talk about the colors now of these areas here. So if you want to change the colors, you can just click over here on our row settings, go to background, and you can see here our color has been apply applied. So I can now change this color like that. So if you want to make this more prominent, you can just drag this. And as you can see, the color here is changing. But of course, I'm just going to leave things as they are. And once you're happy with all your changes, you can just save this, close out of here, and save this one more time. All right. so let's see if this has worked. So you can see here we have a light gray. So if I refresh my page here, this should be a bit darker. There we go. So you can see here that change now has been applied pretty much across the whole website. All right, so let's take a look at our footer now. So I'm going to come over here to our global footer. All right, so again, we have all these areas where we can go in and change colors. So first of all, let's start here with our section. So I'm going to click here, go to background, and you can see this is where we have our background color. So I can change this to whatever color that I want. Okay. Again, I am going to close out of here. Next, I am going to go into um, the text here in our text settings. So here where it says two for one, I can just change this and say two for three if I wanted to. And I can also go in and change the sizes. So here you can see we're on heading two. If I scroll down, we had 60 pixels. I can just drag this down a little bit, maybe to about, uh, say, 50. And I can also customize this text too. So with this text here, I can go in and make it even smaller, like that, to maybe about 14, and save. Here with the button, I can do the same. I can just click here on the button, change the text here, add my link by adding my uh, button URL. And then over here, I can change the button style by changing the background colors and so on. So this is where you get all your custom set, custom styles for the button. All right. Next, let's take a look here at um, the next part. So basically, this is pretty much the same. These are all text modules. And all you have to do is to go in and change the text one by one. Now, over here, we have something slightly different, and this is our email opt-in. So if I click on this gear icon, it's going to take us to our email opt-in settings. So the button which says subscribe, we can just change this to whatever we want. So let's say it's going to be download now. You can see here as I'm typing, this is changing in real time. And also, there's a uh, area here which is very important and this is the connection with our email service provider so if i click here on email accounts you can see we have several email accounts here that we can use so you want to choose your one okay choose your email account here and uh, connect it Oops. let's go back and you need to connect it with your list and make sure you add your api key and uh, api secret and once you hit add that means this email opt-in is now connected with your email service provider, which means when people add their email address here, they are going to be added to the mailing list. Now, there's also something else we can add here, and that is our success action. So our success action here is very important because we can choose to display a message when someone has uh, entered their uh, name and email address, 
or you can redirect them to a specific page. But this page needs to be created well beforehand because it won't show up here, okay? So pretty much that's all you need to do here when it comes to customizing your email opt-in settings. Okay, so moving on, we also have this large call to action. And again, if you wanted to change the number here, you can just go on and, uh, you know, change your number. So you can see here, I've added two more digits. And if you wanted to uh, change your address, you just come over here. These are all text modules. So you're going to come over here and change this. So maybe um, change this from San Francisco to London. How about that? Okay, so I want to save that. And uh, pretty much that's all we need to do here. Once you're happy with all your settings, you want to hit save. And once this is saved, you want to close out of here, save all changes. Now let's take a look at our header and footer. So this is our header. And if I scroll all the way down here, this is now our footer. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.